not have afterblows. They do not have, uh, it basically it works on what you probably call a priority situation. The first hit that's valid and strikes is what's going to count. All right, some feigning there. Ooh, there's a thrust from red. I love that big level change, really dynamic. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, they're gonna call that, looks like they're calling that simultaneous. These weapons move so fast, I'm impressed I can catch all that. What's with spots? Uh, yeah, because yep, I can't yep, hear. Yep, that was my thought. That's why I got up over there. Perfect. Okay. We have a low guard here. I love the different stances these fencers take. The weapon allows such a different sort of biome. Oh, and more hopping. Lots of hopping. Oh, looks like there was a jab there from blue, but they're not counting it. Parry repose attempt by red. Ooh. Now, one difference seems to be the cutting element of a rapier has got to be very different than a sword and buckler. Well, and this rule set has some very specific rules about what they want for a cut. Um, rapier, for those who don't know, is primarily a thrusting weapon that often can cut, especially earlier rapier. Um, the profile on red's rapier is probably a little bit more conducive to that. All right, pardon me, blues. Um, but in terms of the scoring, uh, there are different ways one can cut. Draw cuts of quality, even a percussive cut can count. It is primarily a thrusting weapon, although cutting is very popular. And again, these, these pools move extremely fast. Looks like that was for Elliot Stone. 